Well, now let's talk some business ahead of the July Monetary Policy Committee meeting of the Central Bank of Nigeria, which will be the first under President Bola Tinumbu's administration. Financial experts have advised the Apex Bank against increasing interest rates as this will worsen the current state of the economy. Professor of Capital Market at the Nasarawa State University, Professor Ucho Waleke, says more increase in the NPR will affect the asset quality of banks through an increase in non-performing loans as deposit money banks adjust their interest rates. Professor Waleke also explains that MPC decision may be influenced by the rising inflation due to the sudden removal of fuel subsidy. He wants the MPC to seize the opportunity of the forthcoming meeting to signal readiness to support output growth. Well, in an effort to drive economic growth, Nigeria's customer service index has also refocused on the role of survey platform in the country. It is formed part of a summation and the media partly put together uh, with the theme New Era of Customer Service in Nigeria. Speaking at the event, Director of Media and Communications, Jennifer Rode, assures that this platform will give customers their voices back and reposition small and medium scale enterprises to take their rightful place in the nation's economy. Corporate Affairs Commission, Public Affairs Manager of Nestle, Mrs. Victoria Wadoka, also says, and I quote, the index will enlighten everyone on the important customer service, the basic element of ensuring a good customer experience and the benefits of good customer experiences with businesses. Uh, the important thing is to understand that the customer is king, still is king, and maybe queen as well. So uh, for us, customers are super important, and we take our customer experience really seriously. Um, usually we have a very good experience with our customers, but whenever there is a feedback or complaint, we take it very seriously, knowing that the essence of relating with the customers is to increase that level of trust that already exists to maintain that trust and not be trade and to ensure that we're meeting the customer at the point of his need. If you go to Balogun to buy something and you haggle price with the seller, the likelihood that you'll get cursed is there. And that's not the service we're looking for. We're looking to see how the informal sector and the formal sector can drive service at a particular level where everyone sees the next person who is doing business with actually as a human first, then as a buyer. You don't get value for the services that, that is delivered. At the end of the day, the cost is transferred to the final consumers and everybody suffers. We shouldn't be. Definitely, if that index is operational, then it means they should be able to take that into consideration in determining the value to pay for the services that is being uh, that delivered. And Twitter CEO has unveiled the social media site's new logo, featuring a white X on the background, which is set to replace its bluebird. Twitter's chief executive, Linda Yaccarino, in a tweet said, X is here, let's do this. Elon Musk said, tweets must be replaced with posts, uh, will be called X's. The billionaire changed his profile picture to the new logo and added XCOM to uh, his Twitter bio. Mr. Musk wants to create a super app called X, his vision for a new kind of social media platform that he has been talking about creating for months. More news now. Hong Kong's court to hold the sanction hearings of a Chinese property developer, China's Evergrande, on September 5th and 6th. Evergrande is the world's most indebted property developer with total liabilities of $330 billion. Its default in late 2021 led to strings of defaults and uncompleted homes across China. The property developer announced a debt restructuring plan in March, uh, proposing to creditors to swap their debt into new bonds and equities-linked instruments. Recall last week, Evergrande posted a combined loss of $81 billion in 2021 and 2022 and a rise in total liabilities, raising questions about the viability of its restructuring plan and operations among investors.